Hi, Cindy. Hi, Shelly. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. So I heard um, through the grapevine that you guys almost won your first tournament. Yeah, we missed it by just one stroke. By one stroke. Okay. How did you play? Um, I played pretty good. I had some pretty bad shots. And they had to play and they had the right rooms, and they weren't, weren't great. Well, um, tell me a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your golf game, how long you've been playing. Um, well, I'm a junior at Pius. I've been playing for about five years. About three of those years have been like competitive golf. Okay. okay. Um, what's your handicap? Um, it's about a 50. About a 50. Okay. What are your goals? What do you want to try to accomplish? Um, getting into the low 80s. Okay. And more consistent draws like throughout the course. Okay. So low 80s. So you're not too far. You're not too far off. It doesn't sound like right from. College golf? Yep. Is that right? Okay. The Lobo? Yeah. <laughs> Did I hear that? Okay. All right. Yeah. I know your dad had, had mentioned that to me. So, um, all right. Well, you know, it's a great program. Um, you're going to have to probably get your handicap down a little bit lower than that to, to be a Lobo, but there's a lot of programs out there that you could definitely um, be a part of, even shooting right around 80 or so. so well, good. Um, any physical limitations or anything I need to know yeah. about? Nothing, no aches or pains or anything like that that could cause any trouble? Okay, all right. Okay. So let's talk just a little bit about today. Here we've got about 30 minutes or so um, for your lesson. What do you What do you want to work on? Oh, my swing. the result, how does that impact the ball flight? Um, it'll usually go like really far right or really far left. It's a lower shot. Okay, so you feel like you're, you've even told that you manipulate yeah. your hands a little bit too much in this thing? Okay. So are you working on any type of drill or anything? Yeah, I've been trying to like hands? hit more with my shoulders and take my hands out of it. Okay, so make it more of a um, big muscle, we call mm -hmm. it big muscle rotation. Okay, okay. Um, have you taken any golf lessons at all? Um, any camps or anything? Not I've done a few lessons with other places, but okay. like not real regular. Okay. Not okay. Okay. Um, okay. So no injuries. Uh, let's talk for just a second about your golf clubs. Did you have these fit for you, or no, did you buy I these didn't. off the rack? Did somebody give them to you? These were donated. They were donated. Okay. So let's say you've got Titleist. like a stiff shaft, so I don't know, you know, having not seen you swing yet, I don't know what your swing speed is and how fast you swing, but, you know, there, this is a, you know, it's a good golf club. Um, I always recommend for my students to go to a, a demo day or a club fitting day just to make sure that your golf clubs are fit for you, um, because there's so many different combinations, and to have something that is actually made for your swing, it really makes a difference, so just something to consider. You might want to, you know, take your clubs with you to a fitting, and no matter what manufacturer it is, they can look and they can tell you right away if the yeah. line is right, if, the right, if it's the right shaft. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe they're too long, maybe we could have them cut down. So we'll kind of be looking at that. Um, okay. Now, I always want to make sure that my students are stretching, doing a little bit of general stretching or something before uh, you hit any shots. I don't know if you do that. No, no you don't do that. Okay. And that's, and that's not surprising. A lot, of, a lot of kids don't. But I want to show you a couple today that I think um, will help you because injury. show you just a couple uh, quick ones. We're going to lift up to the sky and kind of push your shoulders a little to the back. So maybe a little bit of opening. I'm really tight my shoulders into the neck. And then we can bend a little bit to the right. And we can to the side. Body.
movie theater. Okay, my husband works down there. Yeah. So, who's the, do you know who the trainer is? Um, no, I don't know their names, but I know there's like two. And they are really good. Yeah. So I'm telling you, it's going to make a huge difference. That's awesome. That's great. I'm glad they're doing that. So that the school is taking care of that. Or health program or how? Um, like each, each sport has its like own individual program. Okay. It's like, that's great. Good. Okay. This is kind of an old soccer show. I remember doing this when I played <laughs> soccer, but I still think it's good to kind of get into that. up just working on your shoulder turn okay so very much like the golf swing right we're going to rotate back and you're going to rotate through the opposite direction <laughs> and then go ahead and release your back heel and you know, doing actual golf swing. Good. awesome so any other hobbies any other, anything else you like to do um i do a lot of like drawing drawing and painting yeah so you're creative yeah it sounds like okay so, um, being a creative type person, it sounds like, are you more of a visual, are you more of a visual learner, or are you more of a feel learner, or are you more, more feel? Okay, so you're, we call you a kinesthetic learning, so you like to be able to, to kind of be put in the positions and, and show them how to do it that way. Okay, and I'm kind of that way too. I'm, I'm a little bit of a combination between visual and, and kinesthetic. I like to be able to see it. I like to see video. probably get my hands on you a little bit today and, and show you some things. Um, if at any point anything hurts or you have any questions or you're unclear, just make sure you ask them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure we're on the same page. So. Okay, so for today, um, we talked about the hands, right? So we'll, we'll look at that. Um, you know, you're talking about these mishits that happen when you overuse the, you overuse the hands. So if you think back on maybe your last round, your tournament round, how many, how many shots during that 18 hole round? What did you tell me? Did you tell me what you shot that day? Um, I shot an 89. An 89, okay. Um, how many shots did you feel like were a result of kind of bad hand movements or? Um, I see probably like one every two holes. One every two holes, okay. Okay, so probably more, but. Okay, so when you hit those shots, is it, what's the first result? Obviously, if we do that and we're able to eliminate some of those other swings, right? You obviously had yeah. some good shots. I mean, you shot 89. So that's an average of, you know, bogey, you know, on average of bogey all the holes, um, roughly. So, um, you know, if we could eliminate half of those others, would that be, yeah. would that be a good a good goal? You'd be happy with that? Yeah. I mean, that should get you right down to that target score, right, of 80, 82, somewhere in there. you to be able to, to get back to me or I want to encourage you to get back to me and let me know how things are going. Yeah. You know? And then I have another tournament Tuesday. Okay. Good. All right. So go ahead and hit, um, I want you to just hit five shots for me, okay? And I'm not going to say anything. I just want to see what you do naturally. And then I'll, I'll make some recommendations. Do I have to get both of you at the same time? Just keep the video on her. Sydney, what club are you hitting there? Um, my seven. Your seven. Okay.
Okay, so out of those five, how many were you satisfied with? Probably four. Four of them? Okay. So the last one obviously wasn't so good, right? Yeah. First two were okay. They were fairly straight, but were they a little thin? Yeah. And then the other, and then the other I kind of lost my balance. The other two were a little bit better. Lost your balance on the first one. And you just hit a few balls, right, before I came up? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you still maybe just do get warmed up. So I noticed that you're choking down, and I think you're doing that because the clubs are probably just a little bit, yeah. they're a little bit long for you. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, there, those those two were a little bit thin, you left one of them out to the left just a little bit, right? Um, what's your swing thought when you take the club away? Is there any thought at all, or are you just, just hit No thought, so you're just, you're just swinging? Yeah. Aiming, aiming for your target, seeing the shot, visualizing, are you visualizing the shot? I usually do that, like, before. Before your shot, so yeah. when your your pre-shot routine, you're back here, right? Looking at the shot, are you are you seeing the trajectory of the shot? Yeah, you're seeing the, the whole the whole thing. Okay, um, that's an important part, and I think it's you know part yeah. part of why a lot of us don't get in better is because we we just kind of hit and we have kind of disregard our target. So for sure, when you're practicing, you want to make sure that you're you're kind of going through the same. The worst thing you can do is just hit balls without regard for a target, right? So make sure that, you know, at least every couple of shots you're coming back, I would say coming back here and actually approaching this like you would the golf course, right? You want to make your time on the range as, as much like what's happening on the golf course as you can, right? You don't want this to just be kind of a free-for-all, just hit it and hope kind of thing and then get on the course and all of a sudden now you have, you know, a target, you know, that you have to aim for. So. I want to make sure that, you know, that you, are you doing some of that or is it more just kind of rapid fire hit hit? Um, when I'm on the range, more like a rapid. More rapid, yeah. So but I think when I'm like on the course, I'm you slow down and you yeah. probably, yeah, and it's not, you probably hit better shots on the golf course as a result yeah. because you're, you're a little bit more focused. So, um, you know, I think if you could, could structure your practices to be a little bit more like, like your, um, the way you play golf, I think it would really benefit. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. Um, Come back here and I want you to tell me what your target is. So probably the white flag. So the first white flag? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going right at that. Okay, go ahead and set up, okay? Because we're going to hit towards that flag. And I just want to check your line. That's actually, that's actually good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How was that? Good. Right, good. right at right at your target. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was really good, and I felt like you kept better rhythm there. Um, you know, the others just kind of looked a little bit rushed. You yeah. know, so more about more about quantity of practice. I'm sorry, quality of practice versus quantity. Right? If we hit less balls, but we're really committed. How's that? Good. Good. Okay. Are you thinking any differently than you were when you first hit the, the first five balls? That that's my target. That that's your target? That yeah. you know what your your target is and you've defined it? Yep. Okay. Pretty darn close. Yeah. Um, you pulled it just a touch right, just a touch right, touch right of your target. But here's the thing, can we all three of those golf balls would have been on the green, right? So, you know, it's hard for me to get into your head to know exactly how you're thinking on the golf course. Um, that, one, 
Someone just looked a little rushed. Yeah. Right? It looked like you didn't quite finish it. Okay, now why don't you come back here. Let's go through the routine again. Are you picking in an intermediate target or you want to solely on the front? You do that on the course? Yeah. Good. You do know you outgrow that kid here today. On seven, do you remember that? Yeah. I gave him a hard time. He said he 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 uh he, Said you had an advantage because you were playing the forward tee. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to outdrive the boys, huh? Okay, have you ever heard the term, stay in the shot? Okay. The difference between your good swings and your not so good swings, I feel like you have a tendency to kind of come out of the shot a little bit early, okay? And the result is you hit the ball just a little bit thin. Sometimes you'll leave the face a little bit open yeah. and you'll leave it out to the left, okay? So the way we fix that is we just really stay focused on solid, we stay, yeah, you're going to find a spot right on the back of that ball, and I want you to stay in the shot, and I want you to actually be able to see the club make contact with the ball, okay? Because we are talking, I mean, it is such a different, <laughs> tiny little difference between yeah. a good shot and a bad shot with you. Your swing is, is really technically good. It just looks like you kind of, it's okay. It's a little fast, but thinking about staying, staying with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, slow down just a little bit. Right, make sure you know what your intention is here. That one might have clubs, clubs in your hand? Yeah. Okay. You don't wear a glove? Um, I usually do, but I left it in my cart. Okay. Okay. Observation from the, the face on mm -hmm. position here. Your golf ball is a little bit too far forward. Okay. Okay. So pull it back. Yeah. So this is your seven iron, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So your seven iron, you want to play pretty close to the center, maybe even just, you know, just a touch forward. Mm -hmm. But you had the ball about a ball forward of that. Okay. It's a little bit too far forward for you to be able to get back to it. Okay. So keep it back so we can catch the ball first and just make solid contact that was better. So it's just little things when you get to, you know, work with some yeah. at your level. Like it's, it's, it's really something, in most cases, really simple, like ball position, rhythm, yeah. those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, okay. So this center, right? That's the center of your stance. Rhythm, make sure you finish your back swing. Okay, now it wasn't a perfect, not wasn't perfect contact, but direction was really good, right? It's probably going to be on the front of the green. Stay with it, make sure you can see the club hit the ball. All right, okay. How's that? Perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the difference there? You stayed in it, right? You were here. Mm -hmm. You weren't in such a rush to get it over with. It looked like you just you just stayed you covered. We call it covering the golf ball. Mm -hmm. Right? You stayed there. Instead of Okay. Able to fill the difference? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Okay, so hopefully, you know. More consistent contact, right? Mm -hmm. As a result of this.
post impact. Impact, I want you to feel like you're going to stretch your arms out towards this golf ball, okay? Nice and low. Okay, let that club, let it travel. Oh. Let it travel in front. Right. Exactly. Stay in it. Let it travel. Good. Good balance when you finish there. So the result, when you, when you finish, and much better balance, okay? Yeah. You're not falling back, right, because you're doing this, right? So I want to make sure, you know, when you're practicing, just throw something out front of you. Yeah. Okay. As a reminder. Good. Ah, your swing is awesome. That is so good. So good. Um, how much are you practicing? Not as structured as, no. as you'd like to be? Okay. So what I would like for you to do is, is make sure that every, let's say every third shot, okay, you're coming behind it and you're, cre you're, you're seeing your target again, okay? And now you don't have to hit at that same target either. You can mix it up, right? You can hit to the blue flag, pull out your eight iron, right? Yes. Another thing that you can do, Cindy, is you can actually play around the golf, play nine holes of golf or 18 holes of golf right here on the range, right? Grab your driver, okay? Set up, pick out a target, pick, draw yourself a fairway, swing, okay? Do that based on where that shot ended up. Pick out an, pick, pick an approach ball, right? Pick out another target. And just play golf, right? Play golf on the range. Make your time count. I can't stress that enough. I mean, I, I, was, in your, I was in your shoes, um, you know, it was many, many years ago, but I didn't know how to practice. I didn't know how to practice until I got to college, you know? So I would do the same thing. I would just rapid fire one after another didn't really care about where the target was, never really thought about it, yeah. you know, and I don't, I just never really got better until I got into college and then it became much more structured, mm -hmm. okay, and there's a lot of things we can do with your short game, um, you know, to help that part of your game improve as well, but for now, um, I, just, I want you to just spend a little bit more time um, kind of dialing in that practice session, yeah. really making it count, play some games with yourself, play some holes, and um, see if that doesn't transfer the golf course, I, I really feel like have um, any questions uh, feel free to to call me I I, I want to get your email yeah and then, still I'm gonna send you a summary minutes. of what we talked about today so it's see here mm -hmm. 66 okay. at okay. all okay. right grab some water absolutely there is still six minutes sounds great well I'll be in touch and let me know how your tournament goes okay mm -hmm. thank you okay thank okay. you so much okay